We are the opposite end of the water business. In other words, Hetch Hetchy and water supply and treatment are wholesalers. And this division is a retailer. We sell water to the customers. Hetchy and water supply deliver water to us and we sell it to the customer. So they're the wholesale end, we're the retail end of it. My name is Bill Tan. I am the acting division manager of the city distribution division of the San Francisco Water Department, affectionately known as CDD. You know, I'm at 1990 Newcomb Avenue. This is the primary corporation yard for this division. Although we have three satellite yards, Lake Merced Pump Station and University Mount Reservoir, where we house our landscape and maintenance staff and our construction inspection staff there. This division is responsible for the four water systems in San Francisco. There's the domestic system that's used for your household purposes. The white hydrants on the, far, on the corner, they're hooked up to the domestic system. There's 8,500 of those. We also operate the EWFS, which stands for Emergency Firefighting Water System, which is essentially every scene in San Francisco, the real big fat hydrants. That's a standalone firefighting water system. It's non-potable, means you can't drink it. There's three reservoirs that uh, we maintain and 180 miles of pipe that are with that. All right, and then there's the groundwater system, which is essentially in the western part of San Francisco. And that we pump water from Lake Merced, to the ground basin out there, and the, the ground basin in, in the Sunset District that goes to Sunset Reservoir and Sutro Reservoir. And then there's a recycled water system, and we use that to irrigate Harding Park Golf Course. We are currently in construction of a uh, waste uh, recycling water plant at Oceanside uh, Wastewater Facility. And the pipelines have already been installed to Golden Gate Park, the reservoir has been built, uh, Lincoln Park Golf Course, and the Presidio. So all, those, all that infrastructure is in, we're just waiting for the plant to come online and then we're gonna activate that. And that'll be the fourth water system in San Francisco. So this division has 322 employees when fully staffed. It's the largest division in the water enterprise in the PUC. We have everything from an auto mechanic, to an engineer, to a draft person, to a welder here. Underneath me, I have four separate managers. I have an operations manager, I have a maintenance manager, I have an engineering manager, and I have a business services and innovation manager. And then from there, we, we go down, our hierarchy goes down to superintendents, down to general foreman and supervisors, and down into the, all the way down to the bottom of the ranks. I've been here 41 years. It's a family, and it's, that's an overused term, but it is a family. A lot of people have been here for decades, and you know their children. You might even know their grandchildren you've known them for so long. A few years back, we lost a colleague due to a tragic work time accident. It hit this division very hard, but at, at the end, we all came together. Uh, we changed our culture around safety because of that. The lady that passed away, she had a young daughter, and every year, on Christmas and that young girl's birthday. Collections are taken, presents are bought, and delivered to her home. And this has been going on since June of 2018. We have 10 major reservoirs in San Francisco, seven large tanks, and seven hydrodramatic stations. So we store in town 400 million gallons of water. We have another 1 billion in backup water in Lake Merced. So 400 million gallons is about one week's worth of storage. And if we, you know, something was to happen, we could ration. About six to eight months ago, there was a huge fire at 13th and Folsom. I believe it was a little alley called Erie. And our division played a massive role in the suppression of that fire. You didn't see us because we're not on the camera. We're at other places, satellite locations away from the fire, introducing more pressure so the fire department could fight the fire. We delivered 258 PSI for eight continuous hours to that fire so they could suppress that fire. That's us doing our job. 